if I do the lidocaine or the nesicaine, carbocaine, it can kill me. Good morning, it's um, it's 7, 7.15 in the a.m. The day before was a really tough day. Talking about um, my challenges with going to the dentist and my triggers uh, from the anesthesia. I trigger from lidocaine and nesicaine, which are two separate classifications of um, anesthesia, the only two local for local uh, agents. I report symptoms of type 1 hypersensitivity, such as urticaria and lightheadedness, which, while true allergic reactions to lo local anesthetics are rare, in her case it would be prudent to be extremely cautious and given the reported severity of her reactions. Nothing in place for the lidocaine, you know, no substitutes for me at all. And um, yeah, so we're trying to push to see if they will be kind enough to put me to sleep, to give me the more dangerous approach. Uh, but um, I've got to take five to six weeks to get approval. Uh, for me to get the tooth removed by them putting me to sleep and when they put me to sleep I'm gonna bleed out because they won't have anything to staunch the bleeding because that's what the local anesthesia will do for you the one that they inject the lidocaine would do for me but I can't do lidocaine and then also uh, the doctor the dentist said that um, well, number one, oh, I don't think it has anything to do with you reacting to lidocaine, which was, like, annoying to me because I did a lot of times already. And I I don't get why, why, why is that unbelievable? And the, the things that, you know, the times when they say, there are times when they say, oh, I don't, you know, I don't attribute that to angioedema or whatever, but other people with angioedema have the same exact issue with the dentist. And then, um, that's going to cause trauma also. The doctor, and then he's like, you're going to wake up in a whole lot of pain. So right now, I cannot use anything that is, um, unnatural to take, keep the pain away and it is painful if I have anything sweet or anything like that so I keep a piece of garlic, fresh garlic stuffed in the tooth and um, you know I think about the people who can't have garlic you know what uh, so uh, what else works is if you my usual antidote to everything that makes me smile what makes me smile other than kombucha of course is is coconut so if you take uh, the uh, extra virgin, unrefined coconut oil, and you swish it around in your mouth, they say it helps to pull gum, it's called pulling, uh, pulling uh, bacteria and stuff like that out of your gums. Well, for some reason, it also does, the pulling helps with the, the tooth. So it helps with the, the pain with the tooth. So if you, if you pull first, if you brush, brush with Sensodyne, um, and then if and or coconut oil if you brush with coconut oil it will clean your teeth and it's a natural cleanser you brush with the coconut oil and pull, pull with coconut oil just swish it in your mouth just hold it and swish it don't swallow it when you're done do not swallow it so why would you swallow something that you've now absorbed a whole lot of um, you know bacteria and, 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 and the bad stuff into your gums so you don't swallow it and then you spit it out and that'll definitely help alleviate the immediate pain and then when you put that put that uh, fresh garlic uh, they say oh you should take some a gorse pad or something and, but me I just take the darn garlic and I stuff it right up inside of my mouth and that's it I just take the garlic I stuff it in my mouth and it, and it makes the tooth feel better it takes sometimes only like five minutes of that I also am having to wait five to six weeks for them to say yes or no if they say no 
I don't know what I'm gonna what am I gonna do with the tubes? Like go find somebody to freaking pull it. Mr. Williams. Welcome back to the Swell Diaries. I just got the dental work done um today and I had to go on a, under the anesthesia to get it done. But um blessed that it is now my tooth is pulled. I can start eating food again. It was an exposed nerve. Um, but that being said, I just got locked out. I got locked out because I'm half doped up still. Danielle, she made me promise not to go anywhere. And I still was trying. I didn't do it though, D, because I couldn't get. I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out. I didn't have keys. I'm gonna go to sleep. But um, this is my life with with Angie Odema. So just wanted to check in with my swell diaries today. Later, guys.